But the current sweltering temperatures can quickly turn life threatening for people, especially those in more vulnerable groups. And there are things you can actively do to protect your body from the effects of the heat. Circle of Health reported Denise Dodori is live in Glendale with more. Denise. Well, Colleen and Ellen, just like Danny said, a triple digit heat dome is, in, is expected to intensify over the weekend. Doctors here at Adventist Health Glendale say in these temps, it's easy for your body to forget how to regulate itself, and that could lead to kidney dysfunction and irregular heartbeats because your heart is working harder. We have patients that have seizures and come in with a coma. Emergency medicine physician Dr. Yeah. Peter Shin says most patients who end up under his care had no clue how quickly heat exposure can sneak up on you. And depending on our activity, we can lose upwards of 10 liters of sweat a day. And uh, so it can't be overemphasized that you do need to hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Nationwide, CDC data shows that heat-related emergency department visits have more than doubled in the last four weeks as temperatures increase. And in L.A. County, ER visits are expected to jump. Data from UCLA's Fielding School of Public Health shows there could be more than 1,500 more emergency room visits per day during this heat wave. This far outpaces official data, which often undercounts heat-related illness. You don't have air conditioning. You want to go to a place that's cooler. Uh, perhaps a neighbor's house or family, even public places like libraries and the mall. Parents should keep young children out of direct sun and heat. Dr. Shin says athletes should not be afraid to take as many breaks as possible. People in their 70s and older, especially those who take diuretics and neurologic medications, don't often feel thirsty, and that's when they get in trouble. If you have an elderly family member or friend, Stay in touch with them, connect with them, make sure they have the resources that they need to get through this, uh, this inevitable heat wave. Stay connected and stay hydrated. Now, if you're having mild heat exhaustion symptoms, such as uh, dizziness, muscle aches, and headache, you can head to an urgent care. But Dr. Shin says if you have these warning signs, you're delirious, you're confused, or you're vomiting, that could be a sign of heat stroke. That's when you need to head to, to the ER. But the message here is definitely prevention. Live in Glendale, Denise DeDore, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Denise.